welcome to this 19th video of quadratic equations in last three videos we have started how to frame quadratic equation from the given information question from problem set 2.6 and how to solve and write its answer we have covered till now four first four questions let's go for the next question now question number five is copied over here what is the question let's read suya scored 10 marks more in second test than that in first test okay so there's a boy called suyash and he has given two tests and in second test he has scored 10 marks more than that in the first test okay so here we can see there is a comparison so whenever there is a comparison we know that the second thing with the first thing is compared should be taken to be x so here the first thing is mark score in the second test and the first thing is mark score in the first test. So we should take this mark score in the first test to be x then what will be the second test marks they are 10 more. Okay. Now actually we, we don't know whether we have to take two variables or one variable in that case we will just note it down in this our mind and we will read for the next part. 5 times the score of the second test is the same as the square of the uh, score in the first test. Okay. Suppose we have considered say first test and this is second test. Here we have taken to be x and suppose we have taken this one. Okay. We don't know whether this question is from uh, which lesson. In exam it is not going to come student. This is from first lesson or this is from the second lesson. Okay. So if we have taken to be x and y. What is given here? 5 times 4 of the second test. That is 5 times y is equal to is same as square of the score of the first test. Okay. So when we get equation like this, what we find? The degree of the variable x is 2. Means it is not a linear equation. It is a quadratic. And if it is not linear, we should not use two variables. We should use only one variable. So what we can do? This y, we can instead of y what we can say so the marks code in the second test are 10 more in second test so this y is what 10 more than the uh, first test so instead of writing y we can write it here y is we can re replace by x plus 10 so if we have taken marks code in the first test to be x the mark score in the second test instead of y we will be taking now x plus 10. So if we read it, understand it and if we check whether whatever equations we are going to get its uh, degree is either 1 or 2 then we can decide whether we have to take one variable or two variables. Okay. So let's write this and is anything remain? Yeah. No, nothing. So to find the score in the first test we have to find only value of x. You are not required to find value of that mark score in the second test. So we will consider this. Let Suyash score x marks in first test. We will write like this. X marks in first test. Therefore, he scored how much? 10 marks more. So, 10 marks more than the, than the, uh, it is not, uh, okay, not only the first terms, than that of in the first, than that of in the first test. Okay, yes, so that are first test. So, it is, he scored x plus 10 marks in second test. Now we have to frame the equation. For this let's read from here. The, we have finished till here. Full stop. Okay. Now let's read. 5 times the score of the second test. So we will first write as per given condition. Or you can write information instead of this word condition. So 5 times the scores of the second test. So what is the score in the second test? It is x plus 10. 5 times of this. Okay. 5 times the score, so score in the second test is same as or is equal to square of the square of the 
score in the first place. So what is the square of the first place? It is x. So square of x. Okay. Now we have got whatever equation. Let's bring it into the standard form. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And then let's solve. So here we will get bracket uh, multiply this 5 into x. 5x plus 5 times of 50 is equal to x square. Now if you want the x square to be positive, take these two terms on the right side. So here making 0 is equal to x square which is on right side as it is positive. Plus 5 is going on the other side becoming minus 5x and plus 50 as minus 50. Now let's write this only here. So x square minus 5x minus 50 is equal to 0. Now here the coefficient of x square is 1. So we need to factorize this 50. How can we factorize this 50? Such that factors of 50 should be such that minus sign of 50. That's why subtraction should be 5. So what are the factors? 5 tens are 50 or 10 5s are 50. 10 minus 5 is 5. Now this difference is 5. Now we have to pick up the sign of middle term and give it to the greater number and it's opposite to the smaller number. So this addition of these two is going to be minus 5 and product of these two is going to be minus 50. Okay. Now we can write this further as therefore x square minus 10x plus 5x minus 50 is equal to 0. Now taking common we can get from this two and this two. So therefore it is going to be x common. Remains x minus 10. Now keeping at certain distance here right. x minus 10. Use that smart tip. Whatever is common. Instead of finding this you can copy the same bracket. Whatever you have got common. Keep the space over here. Now just go through the third term. It is plus 5x. Out of this plus 5x x we have taken. Remains is plus 5. So, plus 5 is your common value. Okay. You can verify this by taking product of this plus 5x minus 50. Correct. And is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Okay. So, one bracket is x minus 10 and another is x plus 5. Take collecting the common bracket and this is uncommon terms in the other bracket. Is equal to 0. If product of these two brackets is 0, it means either or should be 0. Either x minus 10 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. If x minus 10 is equal to 0, it is x is equal to 10. Okay. Or x is equal to minus 5. Now, what is the value which is accepted? Either I can, I can we accept both the values or we have to accept only 5. Now here... There is nothing given about negative marking. So we should not accept it minus 5. Till now we have not that system uh, in our normal education system. So we will accept that marks cannot be negative. Actually it can be negative but it is not mentioning the question. So we can say as marks are not negative. Negative. We will write x is not equal to minus 5. And therefore, x is equal to 10. Therefore, Sujal scored 10 marks in first test. You can verify this answer by putting into situation. In all the sums, you have the habit of doing verification. That in that will give you confidence that your answer is correct. Okay. And if you have gone wrong, you can check where you have gone wrong and you can verify the answer. Okay. So this is the answer of question number one. We will not stop here. We should write in words that so just score 10 marks in first test. Okay. Now let's go for the second question, sixth question. Uh, for that, first we have this part. Okay. Now what is the question number six from practice set 2.6? Okay. Question number 6 is Mr. Kasam runs a small business of making earthen pots. Okay. Mr. Kasam is doing business of uh, making some earthen pots. Now the production cost of each pot is 40 more than 10 times total number of pots he makes in one day. Okay. So the, what are the two things? 
first is he is making certain pots and his production cost is 40 rupees more than whatever 10 times whatever number of pots he makes okay now if the production cost of all pots per day is rupees 600 find the production cost of one pot and number of pots he makes per day now here you have to find two things this is one and this is the other one. okay now how can we understand whether we have to take two variables and one variable that for that what we have to see what is given suppose we take suppose this is production cost is say x and number of pots be y okay so what is the total production cost suppose if you don't understand with the x and y you can take example suppose he makes say 10 pots uh what 10 pots every day and its cost is say 40 50 rupees suppose 40 more and if it is 50 rupees something like this or whatever number you can take what will production cost it will be product of this will be 500 just a random numbers we have taken and but we can understand that we have to take the product to find the total production cost so here when we multiply we will get x into y it will become degree will become 2 so it will become a quadratic in quadratic we cannot take the another variable x and y so what we have to take we have to take only one variable so now which variable to be taken to be x for that just see that rule which i explained before also that whenever there is a comparison between two things take the second thing to be x so what is the first thing here the production cost of each pot okay cost is first thing and the another is 40 more than 10 times whatever total number of pots this is the second thing so we have to assume this number of pots he makes per day to be x then what will be this okay so this is going to be how to write and how to understand 40 more whatever you are reading you write accordingly it will become easier for you okay so 40 more this is plus 40 as this more you have to plus 40 more than 10 times total number of pots he makes okay so number of pots he makes is x and its 10 time is 10x so what is the cost of one pot this is the cost of one pot so the production cost of each pot is 40 more than 10 times the total number of pots he makes in one day that is x okay so in that case what is the total production cost the production cost will be product of this and it is rupees 600 this is 600 so this is the way we are going to get equation so once you have understood this we will write write the answer part okay so we have to consider this to be x so answer of this question 6 is first we have to write let the let Mr. Kasam, let's write his name, Mr. Kasam uh, makes X pots per day or each day. Okay, per day. Therefore, cost of one pot is equal to now we have already thought so we can copy this part over here which is what 40 more than 10 times the number of pots he made okay and total production cost is rupees 600 and therefore we can better multiply these two things to get 600 this is the equation which we have thought before so this is our rough work. Now we are writing properly in fair. So x into 10x plus 40 is equal to 600. Multiply this bracket to get it. 10x into x is going to be 10x square plus x into 40 is going to be 40x. Now take this 600 here. It will become minus 600 is equal to 0. Okay. Now the quadratic equation we have got. We have got in standard form also right side 0 but can you divide this all terms by this coefficient of x square 10 if you observe 10 is divisible 10 here you can divide by 10 this also number can be divided by 10 so let's divide it by 10 and make it only x square therefore x square plus if we divide here by 10 we get it 4x minus if we divide here by 10 0 will get cancelled 1 0 and then we get it 60 is equal to 0. So we have this cancel 110. Cancelling 0 means dividing by 10. Okay. 
Now let's factorize the 60 such that its sign is minus subtraction of 60, subtraction of factors of 60, sorry, should be equal to 4. Now what are the factors of 60? 10, 6 are 60. Is it subtraction 4? Oh my god, yes, we have got it. We are getting very easily on, on the sums. So factorization is not a very difficult part over here. You can see that. Only the difficult part is you have to understand whatever given situation and accordingly frame it into our variables. If you understand how to do this, the RS part is very easy. So it is 10, 6, 60. This middle side is plus. Put it to the greater and oppose it to the small. Okay. Now this will become, I will write x square plus 10x minus 6x minus 60 is equal to 0. These factors we have written along with the variable x. Now taking common from this group of 2 to here we get x common x plus 10. Now right here x plus 10 and what is the third term? We have copied x so remaining is minus 6. So minus 6 is common in both. Okay. You can verify this product minus 6x and minus 60. Once this verification is done, you can go for the next step. Now taking x plus 10 as a common bracket here and our common terms are x minus 6 is equal to 0. If the product of these two is 0, x plus 10 is equal to 0 or x minus 6 is equal to 0. This is the usual whatever we are doing for all sums. So x is equal to minus 10. Or x is equal to 6. Okay. Highlight these both answers. This is one important step in your uh, calculation of doing answers all that. Now as cost can or as number of pots. What is x? Mix, he makes x pots. Means he, can he make negative pots? So pots, number of pots cannot be negative. Okay. So we will write this. Uh, x cannot be equal to minus 10 as x is a number of pots. So what should be x? So x should be what? 6. Therefore you can continue. Therefore x is equal to 6 is your real answer. And therefore you are up. And we have to find here both questions. What is the number of pots he makes every day? So he makes 6 pots every day. And what is the cost of one pot? The cost of one pot we have to find value of this also. Therefore let's find the value of this. 10x plus 40 is equal to 10 into 6 plus 40. So take the product first, 10, 6, 60 plus 40, that is rupees 100. As it is cost, we have to write rupees. So you have to write the answer in words that Mr. Kasim produces 6 pots every day and cost of each pot is rupees 100. So here we have solved these two sums from practice set 2.6. In the next video, we will see another hot sums from the practice set 2.6. If you like this, don't forget to give me like and comments and subscribe the channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you.